Hey, what's up, baby? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get New Gamepad, a multi platform emulator, on your iOS device. Now, for those that don't know, New Gamepad is a Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and much more emulator available without a jailbreak or a computer. So if you guys are excited to get this amazing emulator, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. All right, getting new gamepad is very simple, but be sure to check the description to make sure that this is still working. To begin, open Safari and type in the URL iEmulators.com, then switch to the app section and scroll down until you find new gamepad. Once you find new gamepad, go ahead and click on it, click on download page and head to its dedicated page. From here, click on new gamepad again and go through the install prompts and one of them is to subscribe to my channel if you have not already because it definitely helps a lot. Nevertheless, once you get to the final install prompt, go ahead and hit install and if new gamepad does not install, that means that Apple has shut it down and you can do one of two things. Number one, you can check back on iEmulators in the future to see if new gamepad has been signed or Number two, you can purchase a build store account for $10 and you can download New Gamepad among other awesome emulators and applications that will work for a full year. So once you have New Gamepad and you try to open it, it'll say untrusted enterprise developer. To get around this, you wanna head to your settings, go to general, then go to device management or profiles and device management. Find the certificate that is for New Gamepad and then hit trust twice. Once you've done this, you will now have access to the application New Gamepad. When you open it, the first thing you'll notice is that mostly everything is in Chinese, but don't worry, a lot of the games are actually in English. To see all of the games that New Gamepad plays, you can head to categories and see all of these awesome emulators that it plays, as I mentioned at the start of the video. To get a game, you can search by the categories. So if you want a Nintendo 64 game, just click Nintendo 64 and you can see all the games here. And to download them, all you have to do is click download. Now, as I mentioned, don't be afraid that everything is in Chinese. What's most important is that some of the games are in English and you can tell that a game is actually in English by looking at its little icon to the left. If that's in English, it'll most likely also be an English game. You can also search for games by using the little search tab and searching. You can search in English and get results. As you can see, I searched Advanced Adventure and I got Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. As well as, New Gamepad doesn't have many Pokemon games for Game Boy Advance. They have a lot of Nintendo DS, but not Pokemon. And unfortunately, New Gamepad, you can only get the games that are within the application. You can't put any games into it unless you have a computer. Finally, if you're using 2G, 3G, or 4G network, make sure you go to more and turn that on so you can download games while you're using your network, although I do recommend that you use Wi-Fi. Finally, once you have your games, you can head to the My Games section, go to Platforms, and then you can see all your games separated by the console that it's under. So GBA, N64, whatever the case may be, and you can have fun playing all of these awesome games. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously, as well as comment down below which is your favorite emulator within New Gamepad. Is it Nintendo DS, GBA, whatever the case may be, let me know in the comment section below as I read all the comments and I'm curious to see what you all have to say. Finally, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, I highly recommend you do so by clicking on my icon and clicking subscribe, as well as check out some of my other videos on screen now. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.